our first day in Singapore. I'm feeling not too bad actually. I woke up at um, kind of half past seven and then I dozed back to sleep for another hour. So it's now like half past eight, which isn't too bad. I'm not feeling kind of jet lagged or tired or anything in particular. Stephen's still asleep. I've come out for like my morning walk run. I'm just having a little wander down at the front, the East Coast Park. I think plans are today, I'm not really sure. We might head into the center of Singapore and do something there. We'll just sort of wait and see. I'll wait and see when Stephen wakes up and kind of what we, uh, what we need to do. I think in terms of kind of our work away, because if you don't know, we're staying in Singapore, we're doing a work away, where you like in exchange for a couple of hours work every day, you get free accommodation. Oh, big lizard type thing. Did you see that? running away uh, yeah as I was saying so in exchange for a few hours work every day you get your free accommodation and free food and stuff which is excellent I love that kind of traveling but I kind of think that I'm not sure whether it's just like sort of Monday to Friday the sort of work is expected or whatever I just have to sort of confirm that with with our host when we get back so I know sort of you know have we got weekends free to do whatever we want and whatever but I will let you know, I am going to continue my little walk. almost half past nine, I've been out for about an hour, so hopefully you should be awake by now. It probably won't be though. This one is finally awake. He slept all morning. I kind of was leaving him for a little bit, but I did think I need to wake him up now. It's getting ridiculous. So like half past 12, I woke him up. We're gonna go into like main Singapore, uh, like city center in a little bit, but we're just taking, come on. I'm gonna take the dogs out for a little walk just around the complex and explore what's around the complex as well whilst we're doing it. We've finished our dog walk. You probably can't hear me that well because it's a very busy road just over there. But on our way to the train station, we're gonna get a train into the center, into like the downtown, the Marina Bay area. And we don't know really, we'll maybe head into Chinatown and we're just gonna have a little mooch about really once we get there because obviously we don't know what is kind of there and what it's like or whatever, but we do know. I don't know whether we might, it's two o'clock now, we might go to like the gardens by the bay, they do like a light show at seven o'clock, depending on, I mean that's five hours away, but I don't know, we'll just see. We have no particular plans other than to head down into that sort of area of town. tallest buildings in Singapore and yeah it, there's there's just so many so many tall buildings it was named after the guy who kind of created the modern Singapore it was apparently there used to be a big hill here and they took the hill away and used the soil from the hill to kind of rebuild one of the um, the riverbanks it's like the kind of the financial center I think maybe so we've come out here on to kind of the river area we're going to try and find the merlion statue which is kind of the symbol the merlion is the symbol of uh, of singapore which is just down here it is absolutely what is it absolutely it's too hot <laughs> too hot it's absolutely boiling We're now in Merlion Park, which is where the Merlion statue is. It's like a fountain. As you can see, it's like a lion head and it symbolizes Singapore as a lion city. 
It was named by the Sumatrian prince, who according to legend spotted a lion when he landed on the island at the turn of the 14th century. There was no one in it. Yeah? We got completely drenched. The camera is soaking as well. Might as well. I'm not in the camera. Hello, yeah. It's like we're just getting soaking from that fountain. Oh my goodness, like crazy. And of course, you've seen that there's uh, Marina Bay Sands over there, which is the, the famous, world well, famous hotel with the um, with the infinity pool at the top. Going back to cool off in the water. <laughs> Go right down. No. Are you cooled off? We are leaving there now. That was quite nice. Did you like it there? Stephen definitely liked it. You got to cool off. We're going to head over to the gardens by the bay, which are the big, they're kind of the big metal tree things, I think there's like a walkway above them and stuff and we've just been reading, I just sort of googled it and I just found that obviously it was May the 4th, first of the day before and obviously like May the 4th, May the 4th is Star Wars day and they're doing like a special Star Wars um, night show thing, light show every night about half quarter, every night about quarter to eight they have a light show and there's a special Star Wars themed one at the moment so we're gonna head over there there's like a whole Star Wars sort of themed event thing over there so we're just gonna go and have a little look oh look I could have done that Star Wars run today 4.5 kilometers that's the light side there must be a dark side somewhere finish line for the Star Wars run. Here's our first glimpse of the uh, of the trees of the gardens by the bay. We're gonna stay on Stephen stay on I think oh no 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. we're just entering garden by the bay now it's free to enter and it's open from 5am till 2am so it's open like most of the time you can just come and wander around if you want. There is a walkway along the top if you want to go along that. Obviously, you'll have to pay for that. Each of the trees has got four major compartments. There's the reinforcement concrete core which is on the inside, obviously. Then they've got the trunk, which is a steel frame. Installed on the trunk are planting panels where they have planted all these plants, obviously. <laughs> interested in how these trees kind of work pause the video here and have a little look at that yeah, well <laughs> there's a lot going on there yeah it's all about how they're sustainable oh is this like the the top of them yeah look at that they're amazing This is the, the Star Wars, the May the 4th sort of celebrations. Well, they've got a big, uh, what's, what's he called, Stephen? ATST. ATST. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, look. Thank you. 
No. Go with you! <laughs> and the winner of the Padawan category. <laughs> Save the trees as it takes you on a journey to the light and the dark side. Now sit back and let yourself be taken to a galaxy far, far away. And that was just the um, the Star Wars version of it. It lasted about 15 minutes or so. Obviously, I cut it down. We're just heading over now to the meadow. They've got a screening of Star Wars: The Force Awakens. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yes, I keep forgetting. The Force Awakens here at nine o'clock in about half an hour or so. So I think we're going to stay and watch this. Across the Do you? Is now. Well, to celebrate Star Wars 40th anniversary, and this is one great night to have it. Okay, just to give you a highlight of what's happening here. We're just gonna watch this movie and then we're gonna head home. It's gonna be late by the time we get home today. I'm gonna end it here. We've had a fantastic first full day in Singapore. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you. Hello, Screening Star Wars, The Force Awakens for you right here at Gardens by the Bay. But we do have a special screen, a uh, special treat screening before you, right before this movie. You might have seen the trailer on YouTube or you might have seen it somewhere. But if you have not seen the last Jedi trailer, we have something very special for you. Also want to highlight that we have turned the super trees into saber trees tonight. This is an extravagant event where these trees have now become lightsabers and they will light up Singapore like you have never seen. Just ran. 
all the way through the station. We've just made it. We thought we missed the last train by like 30 seconds, but there's another one. There's no way you'd be on the like train service to the city, Juku, and Chani Airport. We just made it. Connecting train service to car service is available. That service, that's the way we want to go. Phew! Right, see you tomorrow. Attention, please.